Next to me is the Bentley Flying Spur Speed, a sedan fit for royalty with a top speed of 207 miles an hour. It rides like a cloud, pulls like a freight train, and will set you back $322,000. So is it worth the money? Well, today we're going to find out exactly that. At the heart of the Flying Spur Speed is a glorious 6 liter twin turbocharged W12 engine making 626 horsepower and 664 pound feet of torque. Now, thanks to its active all wheel drive and 8 speed dual clutch transmission, the Flying Spur Speed can shoot from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 3.7 seconds. So, what is the Flying Spur Speed? Well, simply put, it's the fastest, most luxurious four door that. That Bentley makes, and the speed trim turns things up to 11. Although in this case, it actually turns things up to 207 miles an hour. You can differentiate it from a standard flying spur in a few ways. We've got bespoke 22 inch wheels for the speed. Now behind these wheels are actually the largest 10 piston iron brakes ever to be fitted on any car in the world which is very helpful when you're slowing down from over 200 miles an hour. Of course, we also have speed badging around the car on the outside and the inside. This is the black line specification, meaning all of that chrome trim is blacked out. For the first time since the 1950s, we've got the Flying Bee mascot on the hood itself, finished in gloss black. It even illuminates, which is really, really neat. And if somebody walks up and tries to steal it, watch what happens. It drops out of the way. The Flying Spur Speed is the last new Bentley to feature a W12. By 2030, Bentley says they want to go all electric. Now, this makes sense for a luxury auto manufacturer. Going electric means smooth acceleration, a quiet ride, but obviously, I'm very much going to miss that glorious 12 cylinder engine. Now, at the rear of the Bentley, to open up the rear trunk, there's not an obvious button. They've integrated it into the Bentley logo. You just click on the B and up it goes. It's honestly hard to put into words how gorgeous the interior of the Flying Spur Speed truly is. It's absolutely breathtaking in here. The choice of materials, the design language is as top notch as it gets. I love the 3D diamond pattern here on the side of the doors. This beautiful engine turned machined aluminum Everything you touch feels extremely high quality. Now, with most modern Bentleys, if we go ahead and fire it up using this button right here in the center, you'll notice the display actually rotates open. But it actually has three different settings, and I find this extremely cool. In the future, as good as these graphics are today, and I am very impressed with Bentley's graphics uh, in this vehicle, they're going to look dated. And they've basically future-proofed it using this rotating display. Let me show you. If we go ahead and click the screen button here, it'll rotate to show you some analog gauges. These will never look dated. They look classy as ever, and I absolutely love that design. Now, if you want a completely seamless layout with one massive piece of trim, then you can press and hold the power button to turn off the screen and watch what happens. This is gonna flip around twice, and you get one seamless piece of metal through the interior. Because the Flying Spur Speed is so fun to drive, my favorite seat in the entire car is the driver's seat. But the rear occupant environment is absolutely incredible. These are some of the softest pillows I've ever rested my head on in any environment. A bed, a beautiful hotel, or a car. These are unbelievable. I love the design, the quilted stitching, the speed logos. We've got our own sunroof back here with controls got our own climate control as well. Of course, you can get passenger rear seat infotainment screens as well. Even a cooler in the back. Right here, we've got a little bit of extra storage and some USB charging ports. The only complaint I have is this car has normal USB and no USB C's anywhere. You'd think in 2023, some USB C's would be nice. The level of customization you have in this Bentley is incredible. There are 15 standard leather hides to choose from if you need a different color combination. I personally love this deep green color, but there are so many configurations that look fantastic. It's actually incredible. Of course, there are a plethora of options for different trims and veneers and different woods and carbons as well. I only really have one complaint about the interior, and that is the backup camera and camera system in general. If we put the car into reverse using this lever right here, you'll notice it does have a backup camera on the screen, but from what I've noticed, it's a very strange fisheye wide angle that gives you a difficult time actually figuring out where the car is. Sure, there are some lines that kind of guide where the car is going, but honestly, 
it's not one of the best systems I've ever used. Behind the wheel of the Flying Spur Speed now, and I am getting a massage while reviewing this car, and I can't think of a more comfortable and more epic driving experience right now. So there are four different drive modes to choose from. We've got comfort mode, which is obvious, it's self-explanatory, extremely comfortable, wafts above the road, and feels like you're floating on clouds. Then we have Bentley mode. Bentley mode is in between sport and comfort, and I actually really like this concept. Having a mode that is kind of the best of all worlds. It's comfortable when it needs to be, and when it senses you are starting to accelerate and need firmer suspension and better throttle response, the car responds really, really quickly. Then you can also put it into sport mode, which is my favorite for spirited driving. We'll talk about that in a little bit. It's actually unbelievably impressive how well this thing handles at high speeds in twisty environments. And then we have a custom driving mode where you can go into the display and customize it to your liking. We're gonna put the car into sport mode right now and actually do a little launch control. Launch control is so easy to activate in the flying spur speed. Literally, you just floor the brake and the gas. You don't even have to turn traction control off, which is awesome. Oof. <laughs> this thing absolutely rockets to 60 miles an hour. I know in today's day and age, 3.7 seconds doesn't sound that quick, but once you're rolling, that punch in the gut from 30 plus miles an hour and faster is really, really impressive. This thing actually pulls like a freight train. Now to put this car into manual mode, you pull back this lever to shift it into manual to use those paddles. And it has some of the most impressive response of a gearbox of any luxury car I have ever experienced. In fact, it's a better gearbox than you get in something like a BMW M5, a car that's pretty much sole purpose is to be a sports sedan and then have luxury a little bit mixed in. This started life as an incredibly luxurious daily driver that you could go across the country, you, would, you could go across all of Europe in this thing and feel relaxed the entire time. The fact that it has an eight speed dual clutch that upshifts and downshifts lightning quick like a supercar is really, really special. I love the fact that they did that and didn't put a conventional automatic in the vehicle. Now let's pick up the pace a little bit because the suspension in this is truly impressive. Despite being obviously a very long and heavy luxury car, it actually doesn't have much body roll in the corners because of its Trixie electronically controlled suspension. It has a really impressive level of confidence going around turns. Now we also have all wheel steering. So the rear axle can turn 4.1 degrees in the opposite direction of the front at low speeds and in the same direction of the front at high speeds to virtually lengthen that wheelbase so it's more stable at high speeds. But it handles like it's so much lighter and so much more capable. It's actually really, really impressive. It's kind of an ironic thing having a sporty extreme luxury car but they've done it in a way that I don't think any other manufacturer comes close. Sure, you could drive around a Rolls Royce Ghost and it'd be very, very comfortable, but you can't take it out here in the canyons. It's actually a joke in a sporty environment. And sure, you could have a car like a BMW M5 that'd be great in the canyons, but nowhere near as comfortable as this on the road. It really combines the best elements of a sports car and an extreme luxury car to a degree that is very, very impressive. You get a slight amount of penetration into the cabin from that exhaust, and it does sound really cool, particularly in sport mode. When you downshift, can you hear that? The little burbles in the back? This thing cracks and burbles in a $320,000 luxury sedan. I absolutely love that. All right, we're gonna put it back into comfort mode and ride nice and smoothly. It's so isolated from the surrounding environment. Look at this, we got a crazy camera car. That's pretty sick. Absolutely no wind noise, no tire noise. Now we've got the name audio system that sounds absolutely incredible, has crazy levels of bass. This truly is a phenomenal driving experience. It also has a whole bunch of tech features. We've got a heads up display in front of me. It even has this crazy cross traffic avoidance system that I actually got to experience for better or for worse the other day. Now I was positive I could make it in front of the car that was coming. I was gonna go just get myself into a parking lot, but the Bentley decided that I wasn't capable of doing that and it actually slammed the brakes so that 
it prevented me from, in the Bentley's eyes, getting into a collision where I got T-boned. It scared me a little bit because I knew I could make it and I wasn't expecting a car to slam on the brakes, but there are gonna be situations where drivers maybe aren't paying as much attention or something's going on, they decide to make something, uh, make a decision that's not actually possible without getting into an accident and the Bentley literally can save your life, which is very, very cool. I also like that when you get into the car and you take off, the seatbelt kind of hugs you. It pulls tight, letting you know that the Bentley has your back and you're gonna be as safe as possible. I honestly love this car. It's so fun to drive, it's so fast, and it's so luxurious. It really is one of the most perfect daily drivers in the entire world. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.